many of us will realize we can work from home more than we have done in the past. So instead of me having to go in the office first thing in the morning, I think I'm probably going to start my days from home from now on. It's just a We're doing quite a lot of interviews on Skype, so um, I was doing those from home, just recording them on my MacBook. Um, and when I was doing that, I was also also asking the people that I was interviewing, "Have you got someone in the house that could film you in your home office, for example?" So husbands, sons, daughters. So that helped, so that you got some establishing, some cutaway shots that you could put in, and they're they're WhatsApping that footage to me. So you teach them to use the phone the right way around. We don't want that footage obviously because we work in television uh, and so that's been really helpful and, and quite good fun to, to do so I did a piece this week about people that are making supplies for the NHS like face masks and scrubs and there's one guy who is 3d printing face masks and he was he did all the footage of the printers for me um, so we didn't even have to go anywhere near his house when we do have to go and film social distancing applies so at least uh, I, me and Mark will have a location we'll meet up Mark handles all of the kit, um, apart from the microphone, which he disinfects. We've got it on a microphone stand. So he'll disinfect that completely, which I'll then take. Um, and then we can stand with a big boom, two to three meters away from each guest. Uh, and then at the end of it, I'll disinfect it and hand it back to him. Um, and then it's a really strange process, but we're, in, we're quite used to it now. There's a danger, isn't there, that we could go, well, actually, we can just get someone to WhatsApp us a video now, or we could Skype somebody rather than going to see them. And I think that would be wrong. I think we still need to get back to having that social interaction and filming people properly. We are missing being able to make TV packages in the way we were, to be able to film, to get access to buildings and to, to, to meet people. And especially with politicians with holding to account, you, you've got to look them in the eye properly. And I think that is something we are missing at the moment. Um, there will be creative ways perhaps that we can do stuff in the future. The fact if, for example, we, we just for, for time constraints can't get to somebody, then I would consider saying, well, just do me 60 seconds on, on uh, WhatsApp and I, I'd, I'd sort of talk you through it and how to do it. I think that that is a way of overcoming things. But apart from making TV, I think what it will mean is that many of us will realize we can work from home more than we have done in the past. So instead of me having to go in the office first thing in the morning, I think I'm probably going to start my days from home from now on. There is no requirement for me to be in the office um, right from the very beginning. So that may change. Um, the fact that we can video conference more, that we don't have to drive to meetings everywhere. I think that's a wider social thing, isn't it? But I think that will, that will impact our industry as well.